Hey there beauties, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to another video and Ramadan Mubarak. If you're new here, I'm Adi Kemi, your go-to modest gal, navigating the intersections of fashion, faith, and business. And as you can tell by the title, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to be getting into three different hijab styles that are flowy, but also give neck coverage. So let's get into it. We're not wasting no time. Let's get into it. All right. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's quickly talk about what you'll need in order to get these hijab looks. Here's what you'll need, starting off with an undercap. This one is from Suna Style, but you can use any fabric just as long as it's something that you can pin to your hijab. Next will be chiffon hijabs. The styles today are most compatible with chiffon. Next will be Nas neck hijab pins. These are going to be essential for what we're doing today, so stay tuned to see why. And lastly will be satin pins these are not specific to hijabs but i prefer them over the ones with the bubbles you can find them at any craft store perfect now let's get into the styling hey there beauties before we get started let's ensure that everything is flat underneath our undercap and today i'm wearing a ninja hijab for video purposes let's get into the first look personally i like to have the folded edge facing downward and I'm just double checking that that is exactly how it is before I place it down on my head. And before we start pinning anything, I like to make any adjustments. And you want to ensure that you have one side that's shorter and one side that's longer. And you'll need one non-snag hijab pin for this look. And what I like to do is sandwich the short end between my undergarment and my abaya and just by taking one corner and placing it there and by pulling one side it makes it tighter or looser just depending on your preference i'm just adjusting it to my own preference and what you want to do is take the bottom piece and bring it across from the back and guide it over your head and you'll need one satin pin and you can place it there. Tuck that bit in and she is secure. And bring it around to the front and there you have it. Beautiful drapery. I'm just making any further adjustments to my own liking. And you can opt to pin it right there if you'd like for security, but I like to just have it hanging and flowing and this is the back and there you have it very flowy elegant and just beautiful let's get into look two so for this look we're going to start with the same base as this last look and make any adjustments as necessary and instead we're going to be taking this long piece and tucking it into the short piece And just straighten everything out to your liking. And this is what you should have. For the time being, just bring the long piece over your shoulder and we'll get back to that. By pulling one side again, it makes it looser or tighter. And I'm just adjusting it to my own preference. Once you're satisfied with your adjustments, take the long piece and drape it across the back of your head and onto the side and pin here. When pinning, I use the weaving method, which just ensures that it's secure. And make any adjustments to how you would like to drape over your chest. And you should have something like this, and this is the back. And there you have it. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. <laughs> Let's get into look three. So for look three, it's going to be a little different. We're going to take the short end and take the two corners and bring it to the top of our head. And this is why I mentioned to wear an undercap. We're going to pin this, these two pieces into our undercap. And you should have something like this. And take another non-snack hijab pin and pin at the back towards the back of your neck like that 
and you should have something like this. It's a little wonky, but trust the process, right? <laughs> Let's continue. So bring this long piece, drape it around over your head, and make any adjustments in your chest area, and follow the natural fold of how it drapes over your face. You can opt to pin it there or here, but before that, make any adjustments before pinning. And I like to use the weaving technique where the pin is hidden, and this is exactly why I prefer these pins over the ones with the bubble. The satin pins are a lot more discreet in my opinion, and the thing with this weaving technique is to make a fold and pull it back and pin the pin into the crevice of that fold. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't too satisfied with this attempt, so stay tuned, we'll try again, but let's get into it. Like, come on. Um, super flowy, like just imagine being on the beach, wind blowing in the wind, but your hijab is secure. Here's a closer look at the weaving technique that I mentioned. So you want to go in, out, in, out, and into the fold. Something like that. You can even tell me that I pinned it there. You can also do another option. This isn't part of the three, but you can also pin it to the back. It wouldn't be flowy, but you know, we just giving it all today. You can choose to add two straight hijab pins into those two corners. You can have something like that, or you can just leave it draped over your shoulder like this. Super flowy, and you can also drape it across your shoulder like that. The choice is yours. I opted to just drape it over my shoulder like this. This variation of this style is more suitable if you want extra chest coverage. And this is what the back looks like. Just making any adjustments. If you decide to try any of these styles, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see. And there you have it. Three different hijab styles that are flowy, elegant, and easy. All right, beauty set wraps everything up. Until next time, stay mindful and stylish. Masa mama. <laughs>